Hey guys, Fox Protocol Mining here. I just got my 200 amp panel put in. Uh, changed my fan layout to the way I, I wanted it. Uh, I've just temporarily got everything locked in place with bungee cords until I get a more permanent fix for that. But uh, I've got my two box fans here on the bottom. I've got a fan over here that's pushing AC air into the room because I'm running my AC anyway, so I know I don't want to heat and cool air at the same time. It's inefficient. But if I've got it, I'm going to use it. So it's really been helping me with my temps. Uh, I started at 95 degrees before I put the fans in. Uh, when I added the fans, uh, just the exhaust fan by itself up here, I actually dropped down into the low 80s. And with the box fans helping, I'm at 79.3 here. And a, a amazing 76.5 right there. I got all my rigs running at 60 degrees Celsius with no issue. Except for this bad boy over here because he doesn't have any extra help so I'm only at 62 until I get him on a rack and some extra cooling on him. Uh, I'm probably going to do away with the fan banks because with the way I'm setting it up I really don't need them. Uh, I've got a couple you can see on there but you can see ones like, well never mind, but uh, a couple of them, they, they're just really cheap fans that I've got over here and they just die off really easy so I've just been kind of replacing them. That's why I went with the box fans instead. This fan bank's been very reliable, surprisingly, but I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and probably take it off. Or I may just leave it until it dies. That's what I'm doing over here. But uh, this whole rack is actually gonna get moved over, and then I'm gonna have another rack here. Uh, I'm using the L630 plugs, which you can see here. Both of these are live right now, and I've got my Nerd Gears power distribution unit down here. Uh, I'm using these C1413 plug connectors for my EVGA 1300 power supplies, but I ran into a hiccup with my Hercules 1600 watts. They don't accept that plug, so uh, I've got an adapter in the mail on that so that I can get everything running on this power distribution unit and off my wall sockets because I don't want to do that. I want to have these racks looking a little bit more tidy, and I really don't want to have to this trip hazard here is kind of annoying, so I want to be able to get in here when I need to. Both sides, you know, it's really nice to be able to work on these. And uh, I'm going to be a little bit better in the future with how I wire, because obviously uh, my cable management needs some serious attention. Uh, but uh, just to give you guys a quick look, my old box was literally like like not even half the size of this. This is a 200 amp panel. I was on a, a 100 amp service and I was just maxing it out. I went really, he went kind of beefy. I don't know if I really needed to do that. We got the, each plugs on a dual 30 amp pole. I don't really need that much for that. I've also had them, I sprung for the surge protector. So I've got a 15 amp surge protector on there. Just to, just for added security for the breakers and mine up. The nice thing about that Nerd Gears power supply is it has its own breaker on it, so I can, it's like an on-off switch for the power distribution unit, so I don't have to come in here and do anything if I don't want to. I can just do it right out here. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, I'm probably going to do a little bit more in-depth video with the cards I got over there. Kind of like, uh, we'll do like a little how-to video on how, to, how I'm putting these rigs together so everybody can see how. Uh, I'm going to be using one of my beef B150 mining motherboards over here. Sorry, I'm stuttering over myself. And uh, we'll go from there. Uh, waiting on frames and a few other things right now. I'm kind of behind the ball because I was on vacation, but this will be an interesting little ordeal. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.